everybody, welcome back to Stringman Guitars. We have a Carvin DC something or other. Um, it's, I think it's a DC 135, 145. Anyhow, it's got the, it's got the Wilkinson trim. It's currently set up with 13s. I forgot to start recording. I took one string off and was about to you know continue on I'm like oh I didn't hit the record button so anyhow um, so on these what you want to do is put your lubricant in the string slot of the nut and the bridge the Wilkinson has a screw that adjusts it, adjusts your intonation if needed and this guitar was set up for 13, so we're going to have to probably make a pretty big truss rod adjustment. Okay, we have our set of 10s on here. Ended up um, looking at the fingerboard and doing a clean and um, hitting it with some F1. I just hit the frets with a little bit of the fret eraser because um, they were really st still kind of polished. They're pretty nice. So. Uh, we're currently trying to get our neck relief back to where it should be for 10s instead of 13s. So I just made an adjustment and we are still too tight. So let me keep at this. Hi everybody, welcome back to the underground lair. We have our Carvin DC here with the Wilkinson Bridge. Um, we did go ahead and polish the frets and uh, oil the fingerboard, clean the fingerboard. We blew out a D string, had to replace that. But other than that, our neck came in nicely. Um, we're at 10 thousandths of relief. And I've got string height a little lower than we did with the other strings, and it's just fine. I'm uh, 564 so all the way across at the um, 17th fret. And no buzzy, and now it's time to um, do pickup height. I'm going to finish the front. So we're going to do pickup height, which should be there already. Because that shouldn't have changed with the new strings, but you never know. Yeah, it's a little higher across the board. So we'll come down a little bit on the pickups. Hey, that's better. There we are. We have reached pickup height superiority. That's good. That's where I left it. And come down just a little bit. All right. So we'll check our intonation here. They're both a little sharp, so what we do then is we take 
it's not certainly not the same or is it it is okay I need my extension what is this anyhow so 1.5 That should do it. Too far. Make up your mind. There we go. No. There we go. We'll lock that down. Good. That is fuzz hanging off my fingernail. Okay, intonation is there. So we have string height, relief, and intonation. Five sixty fours across the board. Okay, now it is time to take the back the back block out. And when we talk about the back block, we're talking about this a little um, what do they call this skyscraper guitars trim block used for setting up. Starting to get a little loose.
There it is. Back it off just a little bit. It's a matter of... That's about it. All right, let's see where the, we fared here. Okay, see by doing that, our neck plate is flat with the body. Let's see what our tuning looks like. I'm sure it will change just a hair, but I'm gonna make adjustments from the back. So everything is pulled exactly sharp. So I'm going to loosen just by a small bit both sides of the claw. Check it again. Okay, we're good. Happy, 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 happy. Okay, new strings were intonated. Everything we lubed all the uh, contact points at the uh, nut and the bridge, and now it's just a matter of double. You know, working everything in. Now, I don't believe Buddy uses this, you know, like a dive bomb thing. I think he just uses it as a short little vibrato. I want to thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair. Check out this shirt my wife got me. Isn't that cool? Anyhow, wrapping it up. Thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers. I need a little push to get us over so Google and YouTube will start paying out some cash for me doing all this work. Um, certainly would appreciate it. Take care of your neighbors, take care of your old folks, be really, really cautious out there because every day I'm getting posts, ah, this person's positive, that person's positive for Omicron and some people, like me, I'm immunocompromised. Um, we can't afford that. Well, peace. Have a great night.